Wide in romance, we now give our witness to the transforming power of love in their lives and affirm what precious blessings David and Mediel have become to one another. Now you with Mediel and David this day are indeed the most important people in their world. And realizing that, you make their ceremony all the more meaningful by your participation with a sincere respect for their beliefs, their values, and their desires. For this is David and Mediel's day. Their day in which they have given us the privilege, the privilege of empowering them to wonderful tomorrows through the blessings of our unconditional love and acceptance. Within their ceremony, each of us has the chance to share in the most inspiring, comforting, and honorable characteristics of a long-established ritual. For that to be our reality, we must be willing to reach out to one another with an open, understanding, and a forgiving spirit. In such a spirit as that, we celebrate the mysteries of romance that have brought David and Mediel together to care for one another through all the varying experiences of their lives. Now, respecting this constant balance of life, of which they are to be a part, David and Mediel shall partake, shall partake this day from two cups, filled with wine from the grapevines behind them, to indicate their acceptance and their recognition that there will be both pain as well as happiness in marriage. Now, David, Mediel, this is the cup of joy and prosperity. Drinking from this cup, you declare that you will share equally in the blessings and bounty that life may bestow upon you. And this is the cup of sorrow and want. Partaking from this cup, you symbolize before us all the sorrows, burdens, trials, and tribulations, all the while realizing that it has been your sorrows which have carved a place within your souls where your joys as well. Complimenting this, let us now join in prayer with one another. Our most merciful and loving God, giver of every precious gift of life, we thank you that we can gather together this day to ask your special blessings upon David and Mediel as they bring their tender hearts and their gentle spirits to be united in holy matrimony. Abide with David and Mediel filling their world with your serenity and joy, keeping them ever mindful of how fortunate they are to share an outpouring of themselves with one another. As we pause now, in gratitude for the gifts given David and Mariel by those not with them today, so enliven us each one to search for those ways within ourselves of bringing more wonderful blessings Mediel and David's life together. And may it be to that glorious end that each of us are inspired and enlivened by what is spoken before us this day. For we ask this in the name of Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now David, Mediel, it was within God's most marvelous gifts of love for you that you were able to meet at Mediel's cousin Tony's house in May of 2021 and begin to establish a wonderful friendship between yourselves. A friendship that has since grown into the love that's led you here to proclaim before us you'll keep doing all you can to appreciate the multi-dynamic natures of your personalities. Now in that, David, I trust that you will always treasure Mediel for her kind, loving soul, her compassionate understanding, her maternal, nurturing nature, 
her sincere, honest, respectful character, and for the sense of happiness and security Mediel has brought to your life. Well, I believe you, Mediel, will continue to cherish David for his supportive, courageous, protective virtues, his helpful goodwill, his patient, humble demeanor, his fun, easygoing personality, for David's ability to fix most anything, and for David sharing with you admirable goals and values, a liking for Mexican food, hip-hop, and shopping at Ross and Costco. <laughs> You're deeply devoted to those you love, and you possess a true tenderness of heart, which will be a blessing to all those lucky enough to share their lives with you. Now, as you move onward to new discoveries of yourselves in matrimony, I pray you'll keep treasuring the trust which has grown between you, understanding that trust becomes stronger only by the allowance of complete honesty and vulnerability in all your communications. Doing this, you turn away from any temptation to criticize or control or ever use that bad word should. Instead, keep doing all you can to empower yourselves and others with compassion, kindness, truth, and your most sacred gifts of forgiveness and genuine acceptance. But know the most important lesson of love on your wedding day is this. For you to realize that we are all of us, all of us as God's children, we're all truly connected to one another. That each of us shares a part in one another's hearts. And to this, David and Mariel, you have the mightiest of responsibilities. For being the wonderful people you are, you will add greater depths of meaning to your marriage as you continue to do all you can to extend your love far beyond yourselves. Now to that end, you let your goodness prevail. Let that be what inspires you to proclaim your rarity, to go the extra mile for another, and to use wisely your God-given power of choice. So choose then to keep looking for every way of giving, for that is the greatest enrichment of yourselves. Choose to pause each day to be thankful, truly thankful to God for the multitude of blessings in your lives, while thinking of the many ways you can inspire and strengthen one another. Make the most important choice of all. To do all things with love. Love for yourself, love for all others, and love for one another, always remembering that loving is infinitely more fulfilling than being loved. We got through the preaching part. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, yes. Now then let us acknowledge that in any marriage service, it is a couple's declaration of unity with those with them on their wedding day, as well as their prayer for affirmation from those whom they love. Therefore, before David and Mediel will make their vows of matrimony to one another, it is only fitting that you, who by your witness, enable them to become husband and wife, offer your blessing and vow of commitment to them. So thus I ask all of you, do you as David and Mediel's most cherished loved ones hereby affirm your commitment to share with them in their hopes and their dreams, their joys and their sorrows, do all you can to reinforce their marriage in a spirit of unconditional love, to guide them, to listen to them, to pray for them, to help them in their times of need, pledging to always uphold their union, lest not just by God, but now by you as well? The answer is, we do. We do. No, we can do better. The answer is, we do. We do. Yes, very good. And now with their blessing, you're ready to make your vows and matrimony to one another. So the two of you please face one another, joining both your hands together. And I ask you, David, do you, David, take Mediel to be your wife, to love her and respect her in your days together? Yes, I do. And do you, Mediel, take David to be your husband, to love him and respect him in your days together? I do.
And now may these rings be for you, a symbol that love has substance, as well as a soul, a present as well as the past, and despite its sometimes sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, of wonder and delight. Now, David, you'll please take Mediel's ring, place it on the fourth finger of her left hand, and repeat after me. Mediel, Mediel. I give you this ring, I give you this ring, as a sign of my promise, as a sign of my promise, that wherever you are, that wherever you are, my love is with you. My love is for you, for always and forever. <laughs> Mediel, you please take David's ring, place it on the fourth finger of his left hand, and repeat after me. David. David. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. That wherever you are. That wherever you are. My love is with you. My love is with you. And now, affirming your vows, I shower you with rose petals so the sweet fragrances of this day will be with you throughout your happily ever after. There we go, that's better. And thus it is, David and Mediel, by the giving of your rings, the speaking of your vows, and the witness of all these people here who love you. I now pronounce that you, David and Mediel, are husband and wife. Kiss your bride. All right, Eric, come give him a hug. Yay! Thank you, Mom. No, I love. Hi, Luke. Happy to be in the new house for me, okay? I love you so much. Don't forget, okay? Yeah, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. We're going to bring you all over here for group picture. Okay. <laughs>